Hello and welcome to my video today. If you remember last year, I did a video on the water pumps or coolant pumps as they're also known for the Fisker Ocean. I did a nice video on that. I'll have that up in this corner if you want to watch that. Today's video, I'm going to show how to fix, quote unquote, fix the water pump that is recalled. And that happens to be this one right here. If we look at the Model number right there. It is the FM 293020022A. And if it is manufactured before 2024, I think it's April of 2024, it's in the recall, which is pretty much every single Fisker Ocean. This set of four pumps has been removed from a vehicle with about, I think it was 900 miles. So I would say these are about as close to new as you can get that I could purchase on eBay. So this one is the one that I'm going to be looking at today. I'm going to show you both sides of it. One thing we need to do is for the recall, we need to fix the printed circuit board, also known as a PCB. And that is going to be accessed by removing this side of the pump. We're going to remove these five T20 screws and we're going to take this part off and we'll look inside and I'll show you what we need to do. There's an alternative way of doing this with this side where the heat sink is on. You would remove these four bolts and then access it. The problem with this side is that you need to desolder the circuit board to remove it to access and then uh, that's got its own issues and then that there is a thermal paste that connects the heat sink to the circuit board you'd have to remove all the thermal paste and apply new thermal paste if you want to do that i do have the links in the video description if you want to do that i happen to have the thermal compound right here and this is the conformal coating that you would apply to the printed circuit board if you could actually remove it. So these two are the items I suggest getting if you want to do that route. And that would require you to have a solder gun and some other um, tools to do that. But I, I consider that a lot more work. The simpler version is just to remove the other side to access the printed circuit board. Unfortunately, inside here is the motor windings and you don't want to get anything on them. So we need to use something to protect it. And that's where I have a 3D printed, basically protection uh, that goes into the center once we remove this end of the pump. And I'll show you how that works. So this is readily available. I'll give the link for the STL file for this if you want to print one or have someone you know that has a 3D printer to print one for you. This makes things a whole lot easier. An alternate way of doing this is to maybe put in like some cardboard or some plastic bag or something and some duct tape and, and try to protect the windings that way. But I think this one is the way to go. Now I'm going to show you some things that we're going to need for this project. Let me move these out of the way. Besides this 3D printed protective sleeve, you're also going to need, basically these are little straws that are used for aerosol cans and they come in a variety of sizes and angles. Most aerosol cans come with the straight version and it's hard to find these angle ones. And I'm going to explain why we need an angle one in a little bit but I'm going to show you that. And also you're going to need a can of this silicone modified conformal coating. And this is what we're going to be spraying on the printed circuit board to offer the full protection because one of the problems with the recall is that some of the parts of the circuit board do not have enough of a conformal coating and that they're exposed and then they can get moisture on them and they can degrade. So what we're going to be doing is applying this conformal coating as evenly as possible on the printed circuit board. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. One thing I wanted to mention is that this 90 degree angle 
straw is a little bit on the long side. So what I did is I trimmed it so it fits in here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inserting this straw on each of these numbers and we're going to be inserting it like this so that it goes in and it's going to be going on the circuit board. The circuit board would be roughly around here. And then we would spray, move it to this position, spray, keep on going to all eight positions and spraying so it makes a nice even coating. And then what we're going to do then is that that should be it. So then you can remove this and put the pump back together again. The next thing we need is a T20 bit for a screwdriver or a driver, power driver. I am going to use that to remove these five bolts from the top. So let me start, get that started now. And this can be removed now. We'll place that over to the side. And here's a closer look inside. And as you can see, we have the motor windings right here around the outside. And that's why we're going to be inserting this right here to protect it. And if you look, it gets it all the way down to the almost to the circuit board level. There's a couple of capacitors showing up there. And what we're going to be doing is inserting this straw. And if you can see, it's going to be going like this. And it's hard to show you the angles, but we're going to be trying to spray it all around the center of this here. You may need to rotate it a little bit to get some of these areas on the other side of the capacitor. So I'm going to try to do that best I can. And yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. Make sure you shake up the can of the conformal coating very well. And what I'm going to do now is take the cover off. And I did have to switch out the top for this one. Um, the one that it comes with does not fit the straws. So I had to pop that one off and just put another one on that I had on a electronics cleaner can that I had also in my garage. So that should work just as well. So now I will attach this to the end and I'm going to have it probably at this angle right here. Make sure it goes in all the way. All right. So now it is ready to be used. I have the pump right here. And as I said, I'm going to be trying to go around the entire area here. I had these numbers marked. However, it may be difficult in those sections with those capacitors that are sticking up. So I'm going to just try to do my best to get the straw bent around them, this side and this side, so I can get this entire printed circuit board underneath covered. So bear with me. I may be in the way a little bit, but I'm going to try to do my best so that you can see how this works. All right. So I'm going to insert this inside here. All right. So I have it inside. You can see right about there. So, I may be blocking it as I'm using it. So just to give you a good idea, this is what it looks like when it's inside. So make sure it's below the plastic and just do some short bursts and then I'm going to move, be moving it around. And for the area behind those capacitors, I'm going to try to bend it as best I can. It 
is a little bit wonky trying to do this since it's such a confined area. All right, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it since it is a little bit liquid in there and I'm just gonna rotate it around Make sure it covers everything best I can. And if you look in there, you can see the coating. So that's my recommendation is trying to get the best coverage you can by spraying it at all different angles inside here. And then if you notice that you're not getting everything, try to wedge it behind the capacitors on either side to get coating as far into the corners as you can and just kind of move it around in case there's still some liquid in there and maybe get the coating a little bit more even. And if you can't quite reach around the capacitors, you may need to shorten the end of the straw. So that's what I'm going to show right here. So I cut a little bit more off so that when I insert it, I can put it in here get it inside and then i am going to shoot and then get around the other side of the capacitor So that's it. So um, yeah, so this is how you would apply the coating. This should hopefully protect the circuit board from any moisture that gets inside due to humidity. Uh, most likely there's no moisture getting in from the actual coolant. It's actually just from either externally or just the humidity that's inside the pump. It's hard to say exactly. So that's about it. So what we'll do is we'll take this out. I just had a piece of tape on here holding it in position. And as you can see here, everything is contained. And what we'll do is we'll put this back together again. All right, now that I am finished with uh, applying the conformal coating, I will now put the pump cover back on. Make sure you have it aligned in the same direction where you removed it. For example, I had the pump exit is the opposite side of this rubber piece right here. So I am going to insert it like this. It pops inside. There we go. And then I'm going to use a screwdriver to put these back on. And then I am going to go to the opposite side. Uh, when you put these back on, I kind of do it the same way I do uh, wheel bolts, do it in a star pattern. All right, then I'm going to do final tightening. One thing I should say is before attaching this cover back on, I would probably let it wait at least 24 hours or so for the conformal coating to fully dry inside the printed circuit board. And then you can attach the cover on here and then tighten it up. I would still leave this sitting upright in this position here for several days just to make sure. And one thing is this is not going to be used in my car right now. I have a replacement pump being sent to me and it is going to be installed in the next couple weeks, but I'm going to be using this as a backup. I can keep this in the car as an emergency. If anything happens, I'll have this in the trunk as a replacement water pump just in case. 
since I think this is going to be good enough for a replacement, at least temporarily. Not sure how easy it is going to be getting these pumps in stock once the recall is done. So I'd like to have at least one of these on my person. And as well, since I have the other three pumps, I'm probably going to do the conformal coating on all of the other three pumps too. Can't hurt to do it. So that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.